All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time for my collection update. So this is the shelf where I have basically my hardcovers and omnibuses and oversized editions and, and stuff like that. You can see I have a little bit in those shelves as well. Uh, but in a couple, a few trades, you can see that. But as I said in the previous video, most of my trades are down in storage. There's about 400 trades, I would say, down in storage. So this has only my hardcovers and, and all that good stuff. So I guess without further ado, let's go to it and let's start right here. The big one, or one of the bigger ones is, is this one. This is obviously the uh, Wolverine, the Adamantium collection. I guess you people have seen it seen it before but I can take it out and show you what it's all about nice cover here there we go take it out oh, sorry, it's, it's a heavy book it's same thing here slip cover the spine the back and so take that off and get to the actual book itself the front so the spine and the back and it just has some of Wolverine's 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 most classic and iconic stories origin and when it's this oversized version when it's in this source source sword I can't speak today the artwork looks great when it's this oversized Okay, a lot of pages. Big one, big book. Let's X. Very cool. Yeah. It was not an overview of this book. I can do that later, maybe. A couple of other big books. You see, this is the Fantastic Four. Behold, Galactus. That is actually, look at this. It's way bigger than the Adam Adamantium collection. Way bigger. <laughs> Funny. This book is beautiful. God, it's beautiful. And it's Jack Kirby and Stan Lee. Uh, look at that here's one amazingly classic cover it looks so great in, the, in this gigantic format it's artwork is so freaking good god it's great artwork yeah gigantic book on to the third Big book, and this is the Lone Wolf and Cub Gallery Edition. I've done an overview of this, so if you want to go to the, my previous channel or channels, uh, go to my previous videos, I should say, on my channel. You have a beautiful overview of this. Beautiful, beautiful book. Lone Wolf and Cub series. One of the creators of this, Kasui, Kasu Koike, passed away earlier this year. Just one of the best books I have, seriously. One of the most beautiful books I have. This alone here is. That's it. It doesn't get much better than that. So, let's go on to the shelves. I have some stuff here. Oh, here's Assassin's Creed. Uh, the flag is lying there. Funko Pops, Punisher, Heisenberg, and Rick. Batman statue. Uh, what 
the, one of the video games, one of the Batman games. My Max Payne statue, the last Max Payne game, and the first Batman game, Arkham Asylum, was it? At this statue. So, here's my Marvel Omnibus section, the ones I collect, ones I have. This is the um, uh, the Dark Tower, one of two omnibuses. There's another one, but this one is pretty much complete. It has the stories and it has a the companion book. I don't like the, that it's the slip cover is very cool. Actually, it's cool that it is a slip because it's two books. But it's ugly. It's green. Let's just see if I can. I think you've seen it before. It's real simple though. But it's green. Fucking ugly. Oh, yeah, we go. Ah, put it back in. So, okay, then we got Conan the Barbarian, Original Marvel Years, Volumes 1 and 2, Savage Sword of Conan, Volume 1. Volume 2 is coming later this year. Volume 3 of this is coming in January. Captain America by Brubaker. And then this second one, Captain America Lives by Rubik. Oh, yep, I know there's the one with Captain America, uh, Death of Captain America. But I have the trades of those. And I have the entire run in the, this. These are the omnibuses. The rest of the run I have in trade and one standard hardcover. Doctor Strange, The Sorcerer Supreme, Volumes 1 and 2. There should be a third to complete the run. Hopefully there is. Then we have the Doctor Strange by uh, Steve Ditko, which is very trippy. Very, very nice artwork, though. The Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, Volumes 1 and 2, completing that one. And, of course, the main series is Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, Volumes 1 through 4, completing that run. This, as I understand it, had a pretty short print run, so it looks like these books, the Deadly Hands and the Master the Cheng Shi books are going out of print. Has some very nice covers of these. It's good. good, good stuff. I didn't always go with the uh, like direct market version. I think I only did for this, the third version. And then we have the final one, which is very cool actually. Moving on, I got Werewolf by Night. One of the biggest omnibuses I own, honestly. It's gigantic. Then Punisher by Garth Ennis, of course. Then we get Punisher Back to the War. I love these books. You know, being the Punisher fan I am, of course I love these books. Then we get The Fantastic Four by John Byrne, Volume 1. Waiting for Volume 2 to get back in print. Um, awesome stuff. Tomb of Dracula. Volume 1, there are two more volumes of Tomb Dracula Omnibuses. They are long out of print. Volume 1 was long out of print, but it came back in print last year. And I'm hoping that Volumes 2 and 3 will also be reprinted. Hellstorm by Warren Ellis Omnibus. This is a very, very cool book. Happy to have Punisher Max. This is actually Volume 3. I have the entire, entire Punisher Max run, and we will get to it. But I have the rest in trade. These, this is the only one I have in, heart, in the oversized hardcover. Everything else, I have the complete run of Punisher Max in trade, except for this one. Avengers Disassembled. As you can see, I'm obviously away from the Marvel omnibuses, and I'm on to the oversized editions of the Marvel's run. Avengers Disassembled, a beautiful, beautiful hardcover, honestly. X Force by Kyle Yost. Uh, really cool artwork. I haven't read this, actually. But I have it, I've had it for the longest time, and it's one of those books I'd probably sell if I could sell it. I would. Here we go, Marvel Zombies. Still in the shrink wrap. I had it for like two years, probably. Just picked it up cheap. I uh, probably would sell it if I could. There's a lot of books I would get rid of. Just not get rid of. A seller. Uh, Thor and Loki, Blood Brothers, by uh, with artwork by Asad Rivich. It's amazingly good, amazingly beautiful book. You know, it's Asad Rivich, and how you can't go wrong with that. 
obviously. We got Astonishing Thor, Marvel's Project by uh, Epting and Brubaker. Fantastic. I mean, really, there's a splash page in this book. It's probably right in the middle of the book as well, which is an homage. Look at these pages here. See if we can find that splash page I'm looking for. Should be stunning. Right? God, it's beautiful. The the artwork here is very reminiscent of uh, Sean Phillips, I think, to a degree. So, yeah, Marvel's Project, just a great fucking book. Moving back, moving on. Next we have Carnage USA, uh, Daredevil, End of Days. One of the best miniseries you'll ever read. Just, I think it won IGN's best miniseries of the year when it came out. Great, fantastic. Here's another amazing book, Family Business. Spider-Man, one of very few Spider-Man books I have. I'm not, I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan at all. I have just a few books. Avengers Endless Wartime and Five Ronin. Great book. It's moving on to my like standard hardcovers. Here's the Thor God of Thunder. So this is this, this, the uh, Jason Aaron run. Then we got Doctor Strange by Jason Aaron Volume 1. Um, Doctor Strange Season 1. Here we go. Fear. Uh, what's it called? Fear itself. The miniseries. The, no, the, the you know the event. This is the miniseries. Fear itself. Spider Man. <coughs> Sorry. Which also won like best miniseries in, uh, at IG, IGN that year. It's so good. Fear itself was not as good, but this miniseries is great. This is the Punisher Max by Jason Aaron, which. Yeah, I have some in trade, some in hardcover and some in trade, but I have the complete run. And I, I'm, I'm not picky in that sort of way that I have some stuff in hardcover and some stuff in trade. Like, I know a lot of people are, but I'm not too picky about it. But I have a complete run of it. That's the thing. Same thing here. It's Wolverine. This is the Jason Aaron run of Wolverine. So I have this in hardcover, and then I have like two or three trades. So the first story arc of that. Then, let's see, oh, let's see fitting together. This is Thunderbolts and Daredevil Noir. Let's just move on here a bit. Going too slow, I think. Uh, Moon Knight, this is by um, Charlie Houston. He's run, I have the trades for that. And that's, then there's the, that, the Brubaker Captain America run. The one I have in, in a hardcover, as I said. And I have the uh, the um, the omnibuses and rest in, in, in trades. Dark Tower, yeah, this is the first one. This was before I picked up the Omni, of course. Cloak and Dagger, classic book. Doctor Strange into the Dark Dimension, very very cool book. It's uh, Roger Stern. Uh, Roger Stern writing. And the artwork. Oh, crap. The artwork. So this is one of the, the Marvel premiere classic. Let's see. Roger Stern, Peter Gillis, Penciler, Paul Smith, Brett Blevins, Mark Badger, Steve Leiloa. Typical, like, 80s, 90s artwork. Very cool book. And finally, here's Marvel Masterworks, The Savage She-Hulk, Volume 1, and now there's Volume 2. So that's the Marvel run, first uh, flight here books. Let's go on to DC. And there's my uh, absolutes, the three ones I have, Long Halloween, All-Star Batman and Robin, and Justice uh, Superheroes, the, the uh, Alex Ross. Paul Dini. God, it's beautiful. 
man, it's one of them. Just, I mean, it's Alex Ross. You can't go wrong with that. It's pick it up. Then it's their Long Halloween Noir edition. Oh, we got some DC omnibuses, Brave and a Bold, Bronze Age Volume One. We got House of Secrets, Bronze Age Volume One. I know there's obviously Volume Two. This there's at least two more volumes of Swamp Thing Bronze Sage Volume 1. There's supposed to be coming out of Volume 2. This is Orion. This is one of the worst omnibuses, not because of the story. Orion is a very cool book, but the actual book itself, the physical book. Um, and I'm, I want to show you like good omnibus versus bad omnibus, and I want to do a video of that. So. Hopefully I can do a video of that maybe, maybe even this weekend. Then we got Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Deluxe Edition, Superman Unchained, uh, Batman Hush, the Noir Edition, or Unwrapped Edition, I should say. Uh, Batman Court of Owls, Unwrapped Edition. We have Batman Noel, Batman the Dark Knight, Golden Dawn, Batman uh, Death of the Maidens, Batman uh, Europa. Oh no, uh, not Europa. This is Prince Charming, Volume One. And I then here I have three editions, three editions of Killing Joke. Eduardo Rizzo edition, the Batman Noir Eduardo Eduardo Rizzo edition, the Swamp Thing, the Roots of Terror. I you can see me talking a bit about this in the last video I did. Pick it up, it's such a... As I said in that video, it pulls your heartstrings. Damn, what a good book. This is the Atlantis Chronicles. Really good book. Really cool book. Like a spin-off of Aquaman. Came out from the... the 90s. That's good artwork. Moving on, we got the um, Snyder Swamp Thing Omnibus. Dong Joy, Vietnam 1965 by Joe Kubert. It's a war book. About, well, obviously Vietnam. Very cool. I didn't even know this existed, and when I went to my local comic book store and he had it. Couldn't pass it up. How, how could I? I don't think that is. It's just very simple. Okay, moving on. We got Tales of the Batman, Gene Colan, Volume 2. Volume 1 has been out of print for a long, long time, but this is great stuff. Night Force by Mar Wolfman and Gene Colan. Obviously, they first did. Tomb Dracula. They also did this, and then they did another book for, uh, I think it was called Curse of Dracula over at IEW. Hellblazer, 30th Anniversary Edition. The Joker, a, 70, a celebration of 75 years. It was a better book than I thought. It was uh, free. Or not, it was, that was wrong. It came in my local comic book store, and they had a good price for it. Here we have Batman Europa. Uh, Trinity, Volume 1. Joker by Brian Osorello. Then we have the Batman New 52 run. The volumes 1. Uh, there we go. Well, 1 through 10. Tie-in books. Um, then we got Detective New 52. 1 through 9. A complete run of that. I have so much more of the New 52. I have to say. I have, as I said, complete Batman, complete Detective. I have complete... Uh, Animal Man, I have complete Justice League Dark, I have a complete uh, All-Star Western, and I have the Je Jeff Lemire run on uh, Green Arrow. So I have a lot of stuff from the New 52. I really enjoyed the New 52. Uh, moving on, Batman Black Mirror, we got Dark Knight, a real ba -ba Batman story, the, the Paul Dini book. Gotham Central, I have one tr hardcover, and I have... But I have, this is a double, because I have the entire run in trade as well. So I have just a buck extra. This is 
Streets of Gotham, Volumes 1 and 2. So we got this is my little at my local comic book store. Oh, oh, there was the book that got away. Oh, it's got from Central. Whatever. Sorry. Wonder Woman, the true Amazon. Jill Thompson. Then we got the Earth One books. Superman, one, two, three. Batman, one, two. Wonder Woman, one, and Teen Titans, one and two. I know there's the second Wonder Woman. There's coming a third Teen Titans if it's not out already. And there's always the Green Lantern one. And I, I want to pick up them up because these are very cool books. Injustice, the first three books, very very cool. Uh, this is Tales of the Multiverse, Batman Vampire. So basically the books that have been coming out, Elseworlds, Batman, this is just the first printing of it, or whatever. It's Joe Kelly and Doug Munch doing Batman as a vampire. Watchmen, the figure trade now moving down from DC over to Dark Horse. So we got my Goon Library Editions, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. I'm definitely thinking of selling these because I'm never going to read them. They stand there and take place. They're beautiful books, though. Can't... Big books. Man, high quality. But I'm never going to read them. Art book is really cool. Different. It's not for everyone. I didn't like it at first, but I'm, I'm, I'm not... like it better, but... I don't know if I want to keep these books. I can just sell them. Get that. Then we got Freaks of the Heartland. By Steve Niles and Greg Luth. Such a beautiful, beautiful book. Just stunning book. Stunning book. And it's a beautiful hardcover. Stan Sakai. The Stan Sakai Project, which is celebrating uh, just an uh, art book about Yusagi Yimbo. Sword Daughter, Volumes 1 and 2. High Crimes, complete collection, complete series. Joe Golem, Occult Detective. This is the first book. There's two more, something like that. Watch them on. Samurai Detective. We got Black Beetle. Francisco Francavilla. Then we get the uh, Conan run, the entire Conan run. So we got the first volumes, first uh, 13 volumes in trade. And then there's the hardcovers. And there's a companion with all the miniseries, and then we have Conan the Slayer. So this is this is a complete Conan. This is the complete Conan run from Dark Horse. If you have these books, you have a complete run. You can obviously get them in the thicker ones, the thicker omni, the big omnibuses, are the thicker sized trades as well. So that's the entire Dark Horse run of Conan. Oh, moving on. Spy vs. Spy. Uh, here's the Kickstarter book. I want to do an over specific overview of this. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Black Sod. The Dark Judges. I want to do an overview of that. Man, it's a beautiful book. Predator is not... And here I just have some... I had to fill up some space. So Predator, the complete collection from Dark Horse. Oh, and here's the... Cape Crusaders Volume 1 and 2, and Batman Dark Knight Detectives Volume 1 and 2. And then we get into my Punisher books. So this is the epic collections that are out thus far. And there's uh, just Punisher in the Nom, or Marvel Universe, Wolverine vs. Punisher, Suicide Pod. And... Just gonna have to move, sorry. Just, um, you know, the Rucker run, the Rosenberg run, 
the Edmondson run, the Clunan run. Here's here's the Max run. In the end, a dead end into blood. Bullseye, Frankencastle. I didn't like. I really didn't like that run at all. I think it's horrible. By uh, what's his face? Jesus. What's his name? Uh, does a lot of sci-fi stuff. Uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, I just can't remember who. I'm not a huge fan of his, his writing. Let's see here. I'm sorry for being bad at doing this. Rick Remender. Ah, I'm not a huge Rick, 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 Rick Remender fan. Yeah. A lot of Punisher stuff, of course, because I am a huge Punisher fan. So it's only natural. Okay, moving down to the last shelf. We got my Yusagi Yimbo Iran. Those. So this is the Fanographics run, completing the run of Fanographics, and then we have the one through eight completes the uh, Dark Horse run, the Usagi and Turtle collection, and the Legends, which has a lot of uh, like mini series and one shots and stuff like that. So that's a complete Usagi run. Now that he has been at Fab Graphics, left Dark Horse, and he's now over at uh, IDW. Okay, then we got a very cool book. This is The Complete, The Killer. I did an overview of this European book. Um, it went out of print immediately, pretty much, pretty much. And it's about an assassin. Great book, and the, and the artwork and the story, just everything. I was so happy that I got this, and I think in my videos, an overview of this, I tell a pretty cool tale about how I got the book. Then we have Nailbiter Murder Edition Volume 1. I know there's fucking two more, so let's get on that. The other Side by Jason Aaron, Cameron Stewart, and Daniel McKegg. It's about the Vietnam War. Like a war, not a war book. You don't see a lot of war books these days. This was Eisner Award nominated. It's about a soldier from the U.S. side and a soldier from the Vietnamese side. Very cool book. Spawn Origins, Volume 1. And I have like four more, but in trade. So this is the one in hardcover. That's the original Spawn issues. The Fade Out by Brubaker and Phillips. I have the trades, I have the hardcover, and I have issue one in a very special magazine edition. That I'm going to show you in just a little bit. But The Fade Out, I love that book, if you can tell. Criminal, volume one. I've got some Valiant stuff. The Val Divinity, Nin uh, Valiant Masters, Ninjack, and uh, Bloodshot. And we got if. Marvel Masterworks yet. I, I just didn't know where to place it. I've been sitting here and reading this. This is Marvel Masterworks Fantastic Four Volume 4 covering issues uh, 31 through 40 in Annual 2. It's obviously by Lee and Kirby. And I was sitting and reading this the, just the other day. Like last week. And it's awesome. So many freaking great issues. Seriously. Uh, like, <sighs> this one alone is Origin of Dr. Doom. It really tells the origin of Dr. Doom. God, it's great. Really, it really, really is. So that's, that's like issue, uh, whatever, 30, 31. I really recommend it. G.I. Joe, the IDW Collection, Volume 1. This is, uh, The City of the Edge of Forever by... It has the J.K. Edmund Woodward. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning artwork. It's 
a great story. One of the most famous issues or episodes in Star Trek history. Of all the uh, Star Trek episodes, this is the most famous City on the Edge of Forever. It's been made into it's a graphic novel. It's been written books about it. It's been made into a fucking play. And it's fabulous. And we got the Teenage Mutant Turtles, which is Sagi of Yimbo, and obviously it's this are included in this one. Uh, G.I. Joe, the silent interlude, 30th anniversary edition. The books of magic. We got these, the Elric stuff, volumes one and two. Volumes one and two. Very trippy. Artwork here. Good quality books from uh, Titan Comics. Okay, we got Nemesis. Lantern City. Uh, okay, here we go. A lot of cool books that Marvel has been releasing. Monster Frankenstein Complete Collection, Son of Satan Classic, Marvel Horror, the Magazine Collection, Shield by Storenko. I'm gonna have to move here. My legs are dying. Shield by Storenko, the Complete Collection. Love that book. Doom 2099, uh, the Complete Collection by Warren Ellis. Machine Man by Kirby and Ditko. Man Thing by Steve Gerber. Uh, Spirits of Vengeance. Daily. A uh, Defenders Epic Collection. This was the first one they released with Volume 6. Then I have a Doctor Strange Epic Collection. Ugh. Looking down here, we got the Daredevil, the Frank Miller Visionaries. Awesome. Daredevil, the Ultimate Collections by Brian Michael Bendis and um, Alex Malab. My all-time favorite Marvel series. Just love it. And then there's the Brubaker run. Then we got The Man Without Fear, Born Again, Typhoid's Kiss. The first volume of Mark Wade, which I'm sorry everybody, I didn't like it. Here's a very cool book. The very cool cover, Lone Stranger, is by Senti. Got Elektra. Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom, Triumph and Torment, Roger Stern and Mike Mignola. One of the criminally most underrated books you'll ever read. That never gets talked about. It's an absolute fucking masterpiece. Seriously. Read it. It's... Freakishly good. Amazing, amazing book. Pick it up. Pick just dude. Green Lantern, Green Arrow. We got The Fix Volume 3, Royal City, Vampirella. <laughs> Vampirella, The Essential Warren Years. No, I don't know how much I can show. Obviously, Vampirella being a very sexy character. Good book, though. Strange Attractors by Charles Soule. So good. I would have wanted to have this in hardcover. Love this book. Really, really love this book. There's a couple of books here that I really love. Trigger Man. This is from uh, the Titan also, but their, their imprint. Trigger. Hard case. Really cool. Really good book. The Empty Man, which they're now doing Empty Man 2, I guess. And The Last Contract by Ed Brisson. Damn, it's good. This is not a just violent, but really damn good book. Moving on a bit, I don't want to go too long. The Complete Calvin and Hobbes, Parker, Score 47, Ronin. Beautiful, beautiful. This is written by Stan Sakai, but it's about the set 47 Ronin. He-Man and the Masters Universe. All When you bought the, the He-Man figures, there was mini comics that followed. They're all collected in this one. Kill All Monsters. Very cool book. Frank Frasetta's Adventures of the Snowman. We got Polar. One, two, and three. Obviously, there's a Netflix movie. And there's been the volumes. Zero and four. 
here's the one thing I wanted to show you. These, not, not these, because they're just stupid single issues. The Fade Out, the magazine style edition, volume issue one. And we got Godzilla Treasury Edition. And finally, I'm sorry. Got a couple of more books. Here, as you can see, Demon, Suicide Squad. Uh, this is Gotham by Midnight. And the new Conan books, the latest Sudden Bastards, Tomb Dracula, Kirby's 100 Celebration, the final Yusagi Yembo, Punisher, Official Index in the World Universe, and Punisher Noir. There's some games and my Blu rays. So, I hope you enjoy this. Please give me a thumb up. Uh, and make a comment uh, if you enjoy this. There we go. If you enjoy this collection. I hope I didn't uh, draw it too much. And uh, no, I ran through it a bit in the end there. But I don't want to go too long. It's been only already 36 minutes. So um, until next time, have a good one. Bye, everybody.